Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are enjoying yourselves. This is uh, PGL Planners and this is my YouTube channel um, where we do everything digital planning, digital Bible study, all of that jazz. And we do do an occasional Samsung situation. So if that interests you, go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell notification, all that jazz. And today's video is gonna be um, a kind of a starter guide to digital planning on a Samsung tablet things that I recommend, things that I don't recommend, certain apps that I recommend, and just overall how to do it. So I hope that this interests you. Um, I'm gonna try to be very clean cut and dry. The last video I did heavily focused on a specific app, but I want to not do that with this video and just kind of give you a general consensus of how to digital plan. So what we will be skipping over is bringing the planner into your tablet and all that stuff because I feel like we've done that several times over on my channel. If you're curious about that, I highly recommend you check out uh, the how to get started with digital planning on Samsung tablet. I think it's on the tutorial playlist and it's right at the top. It's got like pink on it, all that jazz. So if that interests you, check it out. But I'm gonna be showing you more like the basics within a app that I highly recommend for a beginner and that I think is nice and clean. But we're gonna first start talking about the actual tablet itself, accessories that really make it even more exciting and all of that jazz. So I'm currently using the Samsung S7 FE and I have the, I think it's 256 gigabytes in size. Um, I can just swipe over here and see. Yeah, 256 gigabytes and eight gigabytes worth of memory, which is definitely, uh, I think, why she's so snappy and she's good and good to go. Uh, I do recommend that if you're gonna use very heavy digital planners that have like a lot of oomph to them, like the ones that are made specifically for iPads, iOS, and even though they're all PDFs, um, I do think there's a difference in the way that the planners are handled within certain apps. Now, the app I'm going to recommend, it won't even matter. But I do recommend you getting a tablet that has enough space and memory because it will affect your planning experience and how you can store your stickers. Of course, if you do end up getting something that has less memory, then just be prepared to have a wonderful SD card, which is why I love the Android tablets because you can easily expand your space of your tablet without you know having to buy like a, a cloud or whatever the case may be but even if you do you can always use Dropbox to store away stickers and you don't have to pay for that uh, if you don't want to. The next thing I recommend and this is probably going to sound really crazy but um, I recommend a matte paper like screen protector. Now, I don't recommend this if you're gonna be using the S Pen that came with your tablet. If you're using the S Pen that came with your tablet, then leave it as is, because a paper-like uh, screen protector or a matte screen protector is going to eat the tip up, which is why the matte paper uh, screen protectors on Amazon and other uh, programs that let you buy are rated poorly because it destroys the S Pen tip. Do not, I repeat, do not buy the matte screen protector unless you are going to follow the next few steps. But I recommend this, especially if you're note taking, because it's going to make the experience so much better. I promise you, when you do it, you're gonna be like, okay, you can thank me later. The next thing is the S Pen Pro. Now, before I did a video on reviewing it, I said that I only recommended it if you were going to pay close attention to the actual tip and everything. It does have extra features and I think that those are really cool. But for me with digital planning, I only use a few of those things and I'll show you guys some of those in a moment. But my favorite, favorite thing about this is definitely the fact that you can change out the tip just like the Apple Pencil. And I will put below the tip that I recommend. It is a stainless steel pen, uh, pen tip for your S Pen Pro. It is not gonna break in your pencil and up against this matte screen protector, it's not going to wear down because it's stainless steel. So if anything, you'll just have to change the screen protector out every now and again, which it's like nine bucks because it's rated so poorly. Um, be well, it's not rated poorly, it's four stars, but it's because of people's S Pen tips being destroyed. So you definitely need to change out the S Pen tip. Once you have that, uh, if you want a more comfortable feel for your S Pen Pro, you can use Apple uh, first generation uh, what do you call it, cases for your pen or silicone covers for your pen. 
but be careful about the one you buy. Make sure it makes sense. Look at the S Pen and look at the actual case and say, does that look like that's gonna fit? So those little like plastic clicker situations, I wouldn't recommend buying that for your S Pen Pro. You know, but something like this where it's like silicone or even like the carrot one that I have on my Apple Pencil, which I did test on my S Pen Pro, it will do just fine. Um, but it makes for a more comfortable fill when you're writing. And then what I'm gonna recommend next is a nice Bluetooth keyboard. I have mine, I will link this one below as well. Um, I think that it is so much fun to use. It just makes the experience nice and when you don't feel like writing with your S Pen, it just makes it easier to type, especially when you're planning. That's something that I really do enjoy. Now, the next thing I'm gonna recommend is the actual app itself. So I recommend at this point now in my journey, Penly. And the reason why I say this is because it's growing. One, it has a lot of functions that are specific for digital planning too. And then three, because it handles heavier files very well. This planner, I'm not using the compressed version of my digital planner. I'm using the fully loaded, like it's, it's not compressed. Um, and it still moves fairly smooth inside of Pinley. Now come springtime, I'm going to switch to the ivory planner more than likely because I just want to try it out for a while. And I will probably use the compressed version of that. But I'm a little bit of a stickler, so I wanted to use the uncompressed. Um, some wonderful tips for doing digital planning inside of Pinley, of course, is deciding on your digital planner. With Pinley, it comes with planners. Play around with those first to get an idea of what it is you like and don't like. So when you go to shop for your digital planner, you can decide on what is best for you. Now, digital planners are not anything to be afraid of. They are just PDFs with links or it's an interactive PDF. And I'm not gonna go further into detail about that because I've done that in the previous uh, plan with me. I'll try to do a little card up here for you to click um, if I can remember. If not, just go to the playlist I'm a mom of two, I'm super busy. Sometimes I forget to put like linking and all that, but it's on my, my YouTube channel. I promise I've covered it at some point. But uh, test out some planners that are free before you go buy and then look around and shop within Etsy or you can shop my shop. Um, I'm a faith planner shop, so if you are in the faith and you want something that's gonna pull you closer to the Lord, that's highly customizable, then I highly recommend you check out my shop in the links below. Now we're gonna go into some of my favorite tips and tricks for digital planning um, once you've learned the basics. So, like I said, this is not gonna be like a basics, this is gonna be more of like what I recommend. So once you've gotten your planner in here, some things that you know digital planners like to do is take a screenshot of their actual planner and share it. Um, your S Pen or your S Pen Pro or whatever you're using, when you hover it over the screen, this wonderful little air command comes up. You're going to click it and you see this little cropping tool? You're gonna use that. And this is gonna pop up. When you hover your pencil, you'll see a cropping tool. If you drag it across your screen, it's gonna take a picture for you and you can just save it to your gallery. So that's really, really easy. And say if you're inside of your planner, let's just go straight to the index. Um, say if I wanna go to my notebook and I wanna use like a blank page or whatever, then I wanna bring that picture in. Just pinch your screen like this and then swipe. Because Pinly, for some reason, like if you swipe it fast, it'll like close out. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is just drag in my pop-up screen here and I have the picture right here, I'm just gonna drag it right into the app and then I can go ahead and close this out and now I have that picture that I just took, which is super convenient and super nice. Um, sometimes, like, if you're trying to bring in images from the internet, it can be a little, like, trippy. Let me go to other apps. Um, let me see, I'm tripping. I just, like, blanked. <laughs> oh, it happens and you drag it and you put it in the pop-up window here. Um, I think this is the Facebook group. So I'm just gonna look up, oh, by the way, you can use voice command in here. So I'm gonna look up Shooting Stars K-Drama. And then I'm just gonna hit go. And then you can go to the images. And sometimes, now I'm not sure if it's gonna work, This I. I know they've done updates, 
when I would try to drag the image into Pinly, it would like not happen. Let me see if I click it and I do it. Yeah, see, it doesn't bring it into Pinly. I hope that Pinly does make that happen. But what you can do, let's make this split screen and let's click on this. So, continue. So what you can do is you can just do the little thing that I taught you here, drag it, download it, close this out, Henley just said no. <laughs> said we are not doing that. I'm a part of the beta version, so it's been trippy because he's been working on the syncing. So you'll just have to forgive me for that. Um, and see, it took me away from where I was. We're gonna go back to the notebook, and we're gonna go back to page ten. Okay, so we're gonna pinch that, and we're gonna go into our images again as a little pop-out window. By the way, you guys, this experience with this matte screen. I mean my god and with this tip yes and now you have that picture that you just got from the internet that's usable now of course you can always pinch your screen and bring in and use the rectangle situation or whatever but you see how it makes pinley kind of restart before it like does its thing i don't really care for that i personally just like to use this because it's right there and it's quick and it's easy and i don't have to do the most oops um, I guess you could always take a screenshot of your screen too and crop it down or whatever and save it. I mean, either way, the air commands or the air actions over to the side are just really convenient in my opinion. I think that that's really awesome. Now, has anyone noticed that when you, I'm just kind of veering off here, but who cares? Um, have you noticed that if you do this and then you hit the little pin it up here situation, it like has like the image up here, but unfortunately, Pinley doesn't support you dragging it and dropping it into your app. I hate that. It says can't drop images into the app. Um, but yeah, that I hope that they will make it where it integrates and works well with the tablet. I just did a video on iPad and I was talking about how GoodNotes isn't necessarily a mind blowing app, but because of the iOS and how each app is so well woven into the actual iOS itself, it moves seamlessly, where sometimes I feel like with the Samsung, that's where it's kind of struggling. Um, so I'm hoping that app creators will really think about the actual um, tablet and the iOS that it's functioning on and make sure that with the updates of the tablet that your app can flow well with those updates. Um, now that we've done that part of everything, another thing that I recommend with your digital planning experience is buying from somebody or either organizing your stickers inside of Samsung Notes. Because if you're going to digital plan, which we'll just go over into my planner area and let's go to daily views. If you can organize your stickers inside of Samsung Notes, which I do intend to make a skinny or small sticker book just for this, I've already done a fall one and I love it. This is my view for today. It's loading in kind of slow. Like I said, I'm on the beta version and I'm using my uncompressed uh, version, but let's bring in one of the new products that will be hitting my shop on Saturday. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna drag in my Samsung Notes as a little pop-up window and it's size small and perfect where when I click my little sticker book here, it fits so well into this little window. So it feels like I actually have a little sticker book open. So let's say I wanna put a sticker here. I can just swipe through here. Let's say I want it to be like a coffee or tea situation. I will just click it, go to my selection tool, or I think you can use the lasso tool too. Circle it and then drag it over into Pinley and it works Beautifully. So sticker books inside of Samsung Notes and dragging them into Penly is an alternative for this. I'm starting to like this better than this just because I have so many stickers in here. Doing this every time is kind of annoying. So I do, I do intend to make more sticker books like this, but it does of course mean that you need to have a Samsung tablet in order for you to use that. I will still make regular uh, 
regular uh, PNG images, but it will be sold differently because I don't want you to pay for something that you can't use. But yeah, so that's another tip that I recommend for Samsung users. If you can just organize your stickers in something that is like four by eight uh, inches and put all your stickers in there, you'll, <laughs> like, you'll thank me later. But that's another way to make your planning experience on your tablet way more enhanced. Um, another way that I like to make my planning experience more enhanced, and I've actually called this Nanya on my channel, is linking up your document even more so, which makes it more personalized, right? So you're gonna go over here and you're going to select link inside of your planner so that you can copy the links that are already built into the planner as well as create links and move them around. So this middle bar is actually linked on some of the pages in my planner, but not all of them. And so, let me see, which one is linked? I think it's this one. I'm gonna grab the link from here. No, it's not this one. Maybe it's this one. No. <laughs> Look, I have to figure out which one is linked. Here it is. Okay, so here's a link right here, and this link takes me back to somewhere. I forget where it is that I put it, but you're gonna copy that link, and then on each page, you're just gonna hit paste. This is not a beginner's tutorial. This is more for like my intermediate planners. <laughs> so now when I tap that link, it's gonna take me back to my July dashboard, which is really, really nice. I did put in the Pinly group for the pin to possibly be moved back because when you go to highlight, it just sits right on top of your words. And I really, I just, <laughs> that really grinds my gears. So I do, I do uh, hope that that's something that is fixed, but Trying to think of any other things that I feel like are great little tips or tricks. Yeah, Pinley is going through it. He must be doing another update. Um, it's going through it. Other recommended apps that I do kind of recommend, but not really at the same time. Samsung Notes is okay. I prefer Samsung Notes for my stickers and I do intend to go in there and organize them. I think I will make a four by eight sticker book. It just might be something that I do, but I don't know because I have some sticker kits that are just large. I think for my larger sticker kits, I'll leave in here and then maybe for my other ones, I'll put in a sticker book. We'll see. We'll see. But I do recommend those things. Change up your planning experience on your Samsung tablet. I'm telling you, this experience with this matte screen protector and this tip and a nice keyboard and the Pinley app with a planner that makes me happy, it just, it's bar none the best and then having something like Samsung notes where I can have my stickers in a visual way that's super easy even some of my sticker sheets that are not in my sticker book having it over here where I can just go ahead and tap and circle and bring it into the app where it's visually laid out is just so convenient and so nice so you know make your planning experience feel how you want it to feel but play around with your tablet and and have some fun with it um, yeah, I love it. Oh, one more thing. If you do have touch notes, if you have it, and you're like, uh, you like your colors to match and you really want hex codes for certain things very easily, let's just bring in touch notes as a little pop-up window. And I'm inside of something, but I'm just gonna make a little note. Let's just create a new note, hit okay. And let's say that I want the color of this teacup over here in Penny. I'm going to go and first I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to go into the color and then I'm going to go into my, um, is it because it's smaller? Let me make it a little bit bigger here. I'm going to go into the color. need to drag this out hold on you guys let me get the sizing right okay there we go there's the color dropper I'm gonna go and I'm gonna grab the color dropper I'm gonna hit start now and I'm gonna go ahead and grab the hex code that's in here so I'm just gonna copy it okay um, let me see Let's do it this way. Let's check mark it. Let's go here. Let's hit the info and then let's copy it. 
So now we have it copied to our keyboard. Let's close out that experience there and we're gonna go in here. And so let's just say we wanna change the hex code for this. We're gonna backspace and just press that. And now we have the color over here and I'm just gonna put it, what color can I stand to lose? Uh, we'll do this color up here, oops. So let's get rid of that and let's paste that again. We'll just go to our clipboard and paste it, there we go. And so now we have the color of the teacup up here in our colors. And so now I'm gonna close that out and I can go in here, let's zoom in. And I have that pink from the teacup right here. So if you wanna do that, that's a great way to get colors without having to have a headache. And if you're talking about like text, uh, all you have to do is just leave the FF there. So we'll have the FF there and we're just going to go back to our clipboard. And we're just gonna paste that there. And so now we have that there and I'm just gonna put it where the plus sign is. So now when I go in and I can show you another tip, have your keyboard in the mode pop out. So you know how you'll go to modes for your keyboard. Hold on, let me get out of here. When you go to modes over here, if you put it into pop out, it'll make it a lot easier to use. So when you wanna use your text function, you can do it that way. Of course, we're not gonna do that for here though. We're gonna just write today, there it goes. Now we have the color of the teacup. It always kind of does that, okay. I don't know what I'm writing, but yeah. So you see how you have the color of the teacup there. That's another great tip. I'm trying to think of all of the things that can make digital planning easier for you guys. Um, I think that's pretty much it for the most part. But yeah, I highly recommend you check out the links below for the S Pen Pro the tip for the S Pen Pro, the matte screen protector, a keyboard, you don't have to have the cat keyboard, that's kind of just me. And I will also link the uh, case. I ordered a new uh, sleeve for my S Pen and a new case, but I'll link the ones that I have currently below if you're curious about these. But yeah, I enjoyed that, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I just thought about like how um, iPad users will show little hacks and things like that, and so I thought I would just do like a cluster of all the things that I like to do when I'm digital planning. Like I said, this is not a beginner's tutorial. This is more intermediate, um, kind of all over the place video, but I hope you were able to gain something useful out of this. Um, thank you so much for joining me again. God bless you and I will see you all next time. Don't forget to like this video so more people can find me and um, comment below if you have any questions. Bye.